talking about uh, Towns and, and the Towns album, you've really brought Towns to you know hundreds of thousands of people, including myself. Uh, Towns is much loved in uh, Melbourne, where I live, and um, right. we even had a tribute night to Towns as our first sort of live uh, event um, just last year. Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, and, and I remember seeing playing at, at the forum, you did a great version of Punch on Lefty, which you described as like, uh, you know, your first day in prison, you have to knock out the big guy in order to get the radio. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, no doubt about it. It was like, I, I, I did record it first. It was the very, very first thing that I did, and, and um, you kind of had to do it. It's like, you just don't, um, you know, um, I mean, I could have, there's some songs I was okay with leaving off. Like, I didn't record If I Needed You mm. simply because Guy Clark had just recorded it, and I've been deferring to Guy Clark since I was, you know, like, you know, 18 or 19 years old. Yeah. So, and that also freed me up to record No Place to Fall because they're kind of the same song. Yep. And, um, you know, we as, our, as writers, we repeat ourselves sometimes trying to get say something better than we said it before, and I think that's the case with If I Needed You and No Place to Fall. They're both songs that are yeah. sort of about, you know... They're, they're both songs that were, I think, in towns, is, you know, they basically were designed to pick up girls more than they were anything else, but they're right. really, really, really good songs. And yeah. I, uh, I just, um, you know, I, um, it was a labor of love. I mean, every minute yeah. of that record, and I'm really proud of it. Uh, the guy that recorded it, um, Steve Christensen, you know, a lot of that record was me and Christensen alone in my apartment over on on John Street, you know, we lived in a mm. smaller apartment. We we moved after John Henry was born and yep. uh, into a two bedroom place a couple of blocks away, over closer to Washington Square Park. But yep. but we were living in John Street in a ground floor and teeny tiny apartment. It had one bedroom, but the bedroom was really a closet in the back with a bed in it, and yep. um, it did have a little garden that was nice, which you don't have very much in apartments sure. in New York. And yeah. uh, it was just. Uh, you know, sometimes Steve, after the first couple of nights, we were taking a break, having dinner, and he said, he said that sometimes he felt uncomfortable because he felt like he was in the room with something, you know, that too intimate to be eavesdropping on was going wow. on when we were recording. And I said, well, you know what? That's probably then we're probably doing this exactly right because that's that's yeah. what this is supposed to be. Yeah, he he had a way of uh, putting a, a mystical sort of angle into things that probably, you know, it, it sort of is present in in the song, um, you know, as when it's performed by others as well as him. And I think, you know, would you say that he really sort of worked to build a little bit of mystique? You know, stories about waking up and having "If I Needed You" um, already in his mind, or a song like "Mr. Mud and Mr. Gold," which I've been obsessed with, um, and I understand you. you uh, burnt out a couple of records mastering that tune. Uh, yeah, I ruined my vinyl copy of it trying to learn it, just picking up the needle and putting it back down, picking up the needle and putting it back down. Yeah, um, what a song. And, uh, he was, um, I mean, I think some of it with Towns was, you know, he, Towns was better at, at, at making sure nobody, you know, nowhere near enough people knew who he was than he was stuff that was sort of self-aggrandizing. He, he knew how good he was. But he also, I think, had a real fear of, there was something about him that just didn't feel, he couldn't get himself completely comfortable with the idea of, of succeeding. And he, and he, he constantly, um, you know, did stuff that sort of guaranteed that he never did. It's, it's Towns' fault. It's, Towns is not a misunderstood genius. Mm. He had every opportunity to be a lot more, Mm. Well known than he was, and and he fucked it up himself. I watched it. I was a witness. I saw yep. it, and he did it all the time. It's yep. just, I don't know why. I've known other people like him. Mm. Um, with his, in his case, how much? I, I wonder, more, Steve. More of a tragedy yeah. than most, just because he was so good. Yeah, I wonder, Steve. You know, there are th things that seem to be relatable about Towns. You know, he he had. Um, his own uh, addiction, you know, that, that particular disease that, that you say yourself you shared. Like, do, do you feel that there's a part of towns that, you know, you, you can never really get? Like, there are parts that you can and parts that you just can't? Well, I think, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, I, it's a hard, I can't spend too much time wondering about why somebody gets, gets sober and somebody else doesn't. I know towns never tried. Mm. He never seriously tried to get sober. He only would try to dry out. When he started, got so ill that he just couldn't consume any more alcohol, and mm. 
and then he would, as soon as he was back on his feet, he'd start drinking again. He never had any intention of staying sober. Yeah, I'm and, mindful of uh, Tom. I, I got to a point where mm. I, I just had to. I decided I didn't want to die, and and um, you know, fast or slow. Well, and thank goodness you didn't, time. Steve. Really, <laughs> I'm I'm so it glad for that fact. Um, there's a, a very short amount of time left, unfortunately. Um, I could easily yeah. speak all day. Um, you're, you're coming to Australia, and there, there will all be, also be people like the Pogues, Lucinda Williams, uh, your, your son Justin. I'm wondering if you might be uh, sharing the stage with them at any point. Well, that's always a possibility. I mean, Justin and I, I think we'll, we'll only be in the same place once, which will be Byron. Hmm. Um, and uh, we are, we're our tours sort of overlap. He's getting over... Um, he's getting over a little after I am, I think, and we'll see each other in Byron, and then I go on, you know, play a few more nights in Australia, and then I go on to New Zealand, and he, as he's heading west. So, yep. um, you know, um, the Pogues, um, you know, are, are old, old friends, and if we end up in the same place at mm-hmm. the same time, then, then stuff has been done to happen. Um, yeah. Jesse James, you know, maybe. Uh, that what now? Jesse James. Yeah, Jesse James, or you know, even Johnny Come Lately. So Sounds great. It's one of those things. I, um, I I saw Spider quite a bit, you know, because he was in the the, the second season of Treme, and and uh, he, he was in a, he was in a couple of episodes with me. So and he's got a place in New Orleans. So I've seen him recently, I'm, and um, haven't seen all those guys together in in, in about three or four years. So that would be yeah. fun. Yeah, um, the time people haven't chipped in on us yet, so I'm going to ask about you know the political side. Um, I describe myself as a socialist, and you know I really admire your outspokenness uh, and being an out and proud socialist from Texas. Uh, where do your politics come from? Uh, you know. I, I think just growing up during the Vietnam War and 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 and, and basically playing coffee houses because I could, was too young to get into places that served drink when I started playing, and coffee houses in the late 60s and early 70s were pretty pol- a pretty political atmosphere. So I think it was yeah. the kind of musicians that were around the places I was playing were pretty political, so yeah. that's, it never occurred to me, me to separate the two. Yeah, and powerful ideas don't leave in a hurry, I guess. No, they don't. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate uh, the time today, Steve. It's been wonderful and i'd love to speak more so uh yeah if there's a chance to say hello when you're down here that would be terrific but yeah thank you again for today thank you very much take care bye